Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to showcase the new Spellbinders card kit. So just like always we are going to take a look on the July card kit and then I'm going to share some inspiration. If you want to become a subscriber of these kits, I do have a coupon code which is 10% off down below in the description area and just keep in mind that they have past kits for 50% off. In the kit this month, just like always, you get the basics which are foam squares, double-sided tape, 10 envelopes and also 10 pre-folded cards in white that's for a quarter by five and a half. These kits are always great value for money, they are always packed with goodies. I have lots of fun every month when I get them and I highly recommend them. So in this month you will get a bag of sequins, you will also get a bag of dies, you will find a die that cuts out a beautiful frame, another one that cuts out a lace, there is a rectangle that you can add inside the frame, as well as a um, weird shaped die, but if you check out the stamp set, you will see that it matches one of the sentiments. So in the stamp set you get beautiful birdies as well as nests and uh, lots of sentiments, a key, and you can see that this die matches one of the sentiments. Now let's move on now, you will also get a leaflet, there is one such leaflet on every one of those kits, it gives you some ideas on how you can put together a few cards. Now let's take a look at the pattern paper, there is always inside a 6x6 pattern paper, the pages are one sided and you will find that some of the pages have foiling so they make them extra special. There are 40 pages in total in this pad, so actually 20 different designs. And here is a pattern paper that I absolutely love, I find this super cute. So anyway, let's move on. You will find a pack of 3x4 cards in beautiful designs. I like these ones because you can use them to create super quick cards. They have beautiful designs, some already have printed sentiments on top, or they give you an area to stamp on top your sentiment and they create beautiful areas to stick on top your focal points. In this kit you will also get these frames. These are chipboard frames, nice and sturdy, in different designs, some of them have foiling on top, and they are self-adhesive. And here is the sticker pack for this month. These are not thin stickers, they are chipboard stickers, and they are dimensional, they also have foiling and there are gems in some of them, they are really special stickers and they make perfect focal points. Now my favorite part of the kit are always the die cuts, but first let's take a look at the cardstock. You always get 9 different pages and there is one gold foiled one. The colors always match with the colors on the rest of the products in the kit. Remember that you do get 10 pre-folded cards, so you do have card spaces to play with, and this is extra cardstock, so you get lots and lots of cardstock to play with in these kits. And now let's take a look at the die cuts. There is always a pack of die cuts in these kits. You get two pieces of each design. They are great for focal points, they are perfect for creating clusters for quick and simple cards, you can mix and match them with the pattern paper as well as the cardstock since everything is matching together. And uh, I like to lay them all over my table so I can see exactly what I have. Some of them do have foiling, they are really pretty and I think especially this month the kit is just stunning. I just love that vintage vibe on it, I love the color combos. And take a look at the wonderful designs, you get lots of flower clusters, you get birdies and butterflies, you will get lovely keys as well as feathers. I like that you get frames so you can nest inside the other die cuts and you also get a bunch of sentiments. So let's put together a few quick and simple cards, for the first one I'm going to use the 3x4 cards just to show you what you can do with them. Now this is a card on its own, but however I want to make it extra special so I will use two identical flower clusters. When you use identical elements make sure that you flip one so that they don't look exactly the same, this is a trick that I like to do. I'm playing a little bit with how I'm going to position them, making sure that the design that is at the back will not show. I'm going to use foam squares and stick them on top, and this way I have a dimensional element at the top of this card, and at the same time I ended up having a sentiment. 
Now, all I have to do is to stick this little element that I created on top of my card base. And I'm not using any pattern paper at all. I just like the white border all around. I think it helps that elements uh, stand out even more. I'm going to embellish it with one of the butterfly die cuts. And here is the first card for today. You can embellish it even more if you like by adding little gems. I decided to leave it as it is. And here are some close-up photos on the first card for today. A super quick and simple card, but it looks really stunning. Now let's move on to another card. This time I'm going to combine pattern paper from the kit as well as these two die cuts. I went with the ink bottle as well as this feather because I think that they match all the colors match beautifully together. I also used a rectangle die to die cut this white cardstock and I think that chipped sapphire matches perfectly the colors of uh, these die cuts. That's why I'm going to add a little bit on my glass mat. I'm going to spray a little bit of water and then add some splashes on the white panel that I have. This way I'm adding something interesting on the background so it's not plain white, but at the same time it matches with my focal point since they are splashes from the ink bottle. Now I'm going to grab my craft knife and very carefully I'm going to create a slit at the top of the bottle so that I can add inside the feather. I'm going to use foam squares at the back so that I can pop it as a focal point on my card. And now I'm going to grab my heat gun and make sure that all these splashes are completely dry. Then I can stick my focal point on one side of the panel. And then I have plenty of space to stamp the sentiment. Now in the kit you get a stamp set and there are lots of sentiments that you can use. I went with the one that says so many of my smiles begin with you and I stamped that with black ink. With foam tape at the back I'm going to pop this on top of my panel and then you can add something on the label if you like. I decided to leave it plain but I did add a few gems just to add a little bit of sparkle. For my next card I'm going to play with pattern paper and die cuts that I picked up. I like this sentiment because it matches perfectly with this pattern paper. I'm going to cut this to be slightly smaller than the standard card since I am planning to uh, stick it directly on top of my card base. So this panel is 3 and 3 quarters by 5 and I'm going to show you two different designs that you can go with. One is the one that I'm going with where I'm going to stick this directly on top. And you can see how this is going to go with the frame, the butterfly and the sentiment. Or you can use just a little piece of this pattern paper to create the background of your frame. Then place the butterfly on top and the sentiment underneath and you have a white background, whatever works for you. I went with the full background. So here I'm adding a little foam squares at the back of my frame. I'm going to pop it on top of my card and this way I have lots of dimension. I like these foam squares because they are quite high, but however they do fit inside an envelope. Now I'm curling up the wings just a little bit for some extra dimension and I'm going to pop the butterfly inside the frame. And I'm going to do the same thing for the sentiment, adding foam tape at the back. To make my card extra special, I'm adding some gems in purple color so it matches with the rest of the design. And here are some close-up photos on this card with the butterfly. For the next card, I did use the die from the kit and the rectangle inside to create this little frame and I cut it out from the gold cardstock. I'm also going to combine the bird and one of those uh, 3x4 cards. So first of all I'm going to nest the bird on the frame at the bottom, I'm going to glue it down and then as the background I'm going to use the other bluish uh, paper. Now this has notes on top and I think it's perfect for the birdie. I'm using my scissors to cut it down to size. I'm not measuring anything, I'm just eyeballing all everything I do. And I'm going to use my glue at the back and stick it there. So I have a lovely element which makes a great focal point with the birdie and the really sparkly frame for the top of my card. 
I'm not going to use any pattern paper here, I'm going to keep it plain and simple. However, there are loads of pattern papers that you can use here that match the colors of the bird. I'm using foam squares at the back, I'm going to stick it on top. And then for the sentiment, I picked one of the die cuts that says to my dear friend. Again, I'm going to pop this on my card by using foam tape at the back. And in the pack with the cardstock stickers, there are little golden notes, which I think go perfectly with the bird that is singing, as well as with the background that has all the notes there. And you will see that in the close-up photos. I'm going to use three of those stickers to embellish my card. And if you find that the stickers do not stick too well, reinforce them with a little bit of glue at the back. And that's exactly what I did. So here are some close-up photos on the card with my bird. And let's move on to the last card for today. For this one, I picked this lovely pattern paper. I'm going to cut it to be four and a quarter by five and a half. So this is going to cover up completely the card front. I'm going to stick it down with my glue. And I always like to use white glue for this since I can always slide it and make sure that it matches perfectly the card base. I also used the frame die from the kit, but I didn't use the rectangle on the inside. So the, here is another design that you can get, which is not exactly the same as the previous card, where you have that empty space inside. I am uh, picking one of the lovely stickers. This is again chipboard sticker and it has dimension. It provides a great embellishment for my frame and it leaves enough space where I can stamp the sentiment. And for this I went with a stamp that says thinking of you. I have foam tape at the back, I'm going to stick it at the center of my card. And the elegant design on this one would make it great as a get well or a sympathy card. So here is a quick look on all the cards that I made for today. Don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know which one of these was your favorite. Just like always, you will find links down below to everything I used, along with a coupon code if you want to become a subscriber. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.